All right, folks, today is the day uh, our listing for our model home here at 333 Emily Street, St. Mary's goes live today. We're gonna take you in for the full tour today. A um, couple notes just before we go in. Uh, this house was built in 2018 um, and we've been using it as a model home uh, to host our customers and uh, have uh, meetings about custom homes and all kinds of those things. So it really is a showpiece. And um, just on the outside here, uh, we've done a nice kind of black on gray on white sort of detail here on the outside and uh, some nice trim work and all that kind of stuff. Nice cathedral ceiling up in here and covered porch. Um, this comes in, cathedral ceiling comes right into the front door there. And uh, you can see our Bickle Built logo. Model home is closed as you'll see by the sign there um, right now and it has been for most of the pandemic. Uh, so not a whole lot of traffic's gone in here. But anyways, we'll take you on inside. We enter in through the front door here. We come into a bit of a front foyer and I'm actually just gonna back up and show you from this angle. A uh, bit of a front foyer here. We've done a lifted ceiling up in here with this box beam, um, X box beam there and the hanging light fixture. So that's just a nice feature there to kind of um, designate that front foyer area and uh, then it kind of offshoots into different parts of the house from there. Nice kind of craftsman style door, uh, side lights, some uh, neat grilling and the transom there. You'll notice as well just before we move on here uh, we've got all through the main floor of this house we've got this flat baseboard and casing coming up to a three-piece header up here and that just gives it a little bit of a craftsman feel it's kind of a modern craftsman uh, style of home that we have here so straight ahead of us right here we have a coat closet obviously these stairs go down to the basement you've got this nice railing uh, here which are painted spindles uh, stained um, handrail there and then some uh, chunky painted out posts here so that goes into sort of the main living space there but I'm just gonna take you through this way um, straight ahead of us right here down this hallway is a good size linen closet there we've got two bedrooms and a bathroom off this front area here so this is sort of bedroom one it's being used as a uh, office right now we've got a little bit of nice uh, artwork there from around St. Mary's, photos from around St. Mary's throughout the house, so you'll notice that. Uh, but this is being used as an office right now. A uh, nice big window there you see at the front. And then this actually does have a small walk-in closet in it as well. So um, lots of room for storage in there. Um, and then just right across the hall from that front bedroom, we've got the main bathroom. So. Uh, we've got a one-piece tub shower module there, acrylic tub shower module, um, some nice vinyl, uh, luxury vinyl tile flooring in here, of course, toilet, and then uh, good size vanity here. It's kind of like a, almost looks blue there, but it's more of a dark gray color there, and we've just sort of decorated things here to look a little nicer. So yeah, nice, uh, good size main bathroom in there. And then this is, I guess bedroom three, um, so a good size bedroom here as well, good size window um, off the side there. And then um, we've got another closet right here. And there again, another good size walk-in. It's kind of like a small walk-in closet uh, right there. So that is bedroom three. So those are two of the bedrooms um, of the three total on this main floor. So we take you in through the main kind of open concept living area. Uh, one thing to note here just before we come into the living room, this ceiling here is 11 feet high. So we've got uh, that much higher window uh, looking off the back to the covered porch. And then uh, all the rest of the ceilings throughout the house on the main floor anyways are nine feet. So uh, that's kind of standard height anymore. Um, so in here we've got Good size living room with the higher ceiling that I mentioned. And then um, the uh, gas fireplace here, which we've put, it's, it's made to look um, like a brick, but it's actually a tile surround on here. So it kind of gives you that uh, brick kind of rustic look there. And with the hearth there on the front. Um, so that's a nice uh, gas fireplace 
assembly there. And then just in behind here, we've got the kitchen. So good size island, um, of course, which is key anymore. So enough room to get three stools up to that island. Uh, we've got quartz countertops here. And then this is really kind of a bit of a work of art here. So this is all handcrafted, custom, uh, custom stained and, and whatnot uh, with the island again. You saw the X in the front, now we've got the X in either side of the island as well. Um, so there's a bit of a theme going on here. And uh, it's just a really nice dark stain with the uh, white quartz. It's a really nice look. Then to take that into a step further, our range hood, custom range hood, matches in with this island. And then the backdrop of all that is this nice gray uh, cabinet um, on the perimeter here. And then again, quartz countertops, the white quartz on the outside there. Um, and then just across this kind of function as it w could be like a bar area, I suppose, but we've kind of dressed it up. So we've put some glass uh, into these cabinets, these upper cabinets here. And then we line them with uh, the stained wood that matches in with the island as well. So kind of a nice touch there. There's a bit of uh, everything going on in this kitchen and um, it uh, works out really, really nice. So then just through here, we've got a walk-in pantry. Um, so lots of room for storage and all kinds of things. There you've got some wine in there already. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's your kitchen. Just on the inside here, we've got a dishwasher. Um, and then this slot here is for a microwave. And this just all overlooks the uh, living room here. And then dining room space back here got a door that goes to the covered porch over in that area um, so we'll take you out there in just a minute but a really good sized dining room here lots of natural light nice kind of rustic-y um, hanging light there centered over the uh, dining room table lots of room for family and all that fun stuff i'll show you the covered porch and just so heading out here to the covered porch and you gotta unlock the door before you come out but uh again we have in the living room the 11 foot ceiling that i mentioned so the covered porch ceiling is up at that same height uh, just a little bit higher which makes it feel a little bit more grand and a good size covered concrete porch this is all uh poured onto frost wall and tied in with the foundation so it's completely indestructible really um and then there you can see the yard as well. So um, good size yard here. Uh, property line goes actually approximately back to where that fence ends right there. So good size property, nice size covered patio here. Just before we move on uh, beyond the covered porch, I just wanted to show here as well, we've got raise and lower blinds for a little bit of privacy in the dining room. So in glass raise and lower blinds, which is kind of a nice uh, touch as well. Um, so we'll take you over here and this area kind of comes into uh, master bedroom back there and then this is the mudroom slash laundry room so we've just done a nice uh, shiplap with hooks and a little bit of a bench with some storage underneath the bench there just nice and simple uh, staying with the overall style of the house and then just back in here we've got set up um, for a laundry vanity with a sink and then stackable washer and dryer uh, can go in that space right there and everything's all ready to go. I'll just take a quick peek here um, at the garage and we will come back to this. This does have some of our stuff in it right now, but a uh, good size uh, two car garage there. You can see that's my truck, full size truck fits in the garage. Um, so good size garage here. And then there is stairs going to the basement, which I'll show you in just a minute. And of course we've got a uh, man door coming into the side of the garage as well. Um, should mention as well, jack shaft, uh, garage door openers, a little bit of natural light above these uh, uh, garage doors as well. So uh, that's a bit of a nice touch there. Okay, so this comes through and back into a little bit of an alcove that is just, just basically providing a little bit of privacy for the master bedroom. And then you come into this nice good size master bedroom here, which we've got all laid out and looking good. Uh, lots of natural light with these uh, couple of windows here. So that one's looking on to the covered porch. And that one, of course, looks towards the backyard. Went with this nice dark color, which really makes the trim uh, pop in here and the lighter ceiling uh, sort of makes the room feel that much bigger and then of course with the master bedroom we've got this beautiful beautiful 
um, ensuite bathroom in here. So double vanity, little sink there, sink there. We've got this furniture style bottom uh, with a little bit of uh, a difference in the depth of those cabinets as well, which gives it some nice interest there. And uh, you know, some square sinks, lots of good storage here in the uh, middle of this vanity. And then this brings you over to the other sink here, of course toilet on the end and then this side is really my favorite so um, <clears throat> beautiful tile work here with the uh, custom shower and then we've carried this tile through to create a little bit of a border with the pencil tile we've got this nice piano window and hanging light up here above the freestanding tub so beautiful deep freestanding tub there you can have your wine read your book uh, light some candles do your thing there. Um, so this is the ensuite bathroom, and then through the ensuite bathroom, we come into an absolutely huge uh, walk-in closet. So tons of storage in here for all those clothes, and you can get out of the shower and walk right into the walk-in closet and get dressed right away. So that's kind of a nice touch as well. Okay, we'll take you down to the basement and show you that, here we go. So just heading down the stairs to the basement here now, and it's important to note that, uh, of course, this has been functioning as a model home, so I know this isn't exactly how you've had things set up. We've got a little bit of a uh, picture wall here displaying some of our Instagram stuff um, there, so a bit of a feature wall there. And then this has served as a meeting room for us. We meet with our customers here. Uh, we display all of our awards and things like that here and different samples, but, if you're looking to buy this house, uh, of course, this would not function as a meeting space necessarily. This whole area could be a big rec room. Um, so huge, lots of potential here. Lots of big uh, light uh, windows for natural light there. Um, so those are all egress windows, even though this isn't a bedroom. Um, and then we've got a nice vinyl plank floor down here, which uh, is glued down right to the concrete there. Um, this floor is all insulated underneath as well, so it stays nice and warm in the uh, winter time. We'll take you through to the utility room just towards the end, uh, but here's where this tour is a little bit more exclusive. Usually, this door is closed, um, and we've had some office space back in here that we've been functioning out of for the last three plus years. This door here goes up into the garage, which is why I was parked in the garage. This is how I come into work. Um, some days and so we've just got it set up here with a couple of printers coming in from the door of course of course this would function more as a mudroom uh, for a potential homeowner and then just ahead of us we've got a bit of a common space there um, which you could do some built-ins and different things there and basically these office spaces function as bedrooms so there's one with a good size window closet the whole deal and then two so this is another office we have down here, uh, which could be a bedroom. And then we've got a full three-piece bathroom here as well with some really cool features. I really always get lots of comments on this floor. Um, and floating vanity, just a nice simple floating vanity there and a dressed up sink and then a nice walk-in shower there as well. So full three-piece bathroom through this area. And then we've just created uh, another office space in here. Um, of course, that can't be finished as a bedroom because there's no window, um, but it isn't load bearing. So there is the potential to alter this, to remove this wall and uh, have this space come into the um, rec room as well. And then that way you just have a little bit bigger rec room or you could use that as a storage space as well. So, Last but not least, we'll bring you through here and into the utility room. And we've got lots of good storage here in the utility room, which we are utilizing, as you can see. Um, and then back in here, we've got uh, water softener, sump pump, water heater. There's your uh, 200 amp panel and um, HRV, and of course, furnace just right over here. So this whole basement is spray foam insulation. Uh, so uh, spray foam polyurethane insulation all along the uh, exterior foundation wall. So this basement stays very, very dry, very, very warm in the winter time. Um, so it functions very, very well. 
Anyways, guys, that's your tour for today. If I've missed anything, which I'm sure I have, uh, just ask questions in the comments. Um, otherwise, we'll see you next time.